Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 22nd, right? Yeah, around the 22nd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. All right? This is around. This is just daily energy that I am picking up on. What do we have? What message do we have for today? Ooh, Six of Cups. Six of Cups reversed. The Six of Cups reversed is... Uh, we have somebody here that is reminiscing, really, really thinking about the past unable to let go of the past a lot of memories okay we have a lot of memories somebody's thinking about their childhood thinking about their parents thinking about their children thinking about uh, a past relationship this is this is reminiscing about the past quite heavily Ooh, page of cups page of cups upright the High Priestess reversed. The Fool reversed. We have somebody that has acted foolishly. Somebody has acted recklessly. The Fool reversed. Reckless behavior. Somebody, uh, this is a loss of self. Going through a repression. Somebody is going through a, a repression because of their foolish behavior. They may have been unaware. They may have been unaware of their abilities. Or they may have been, been unaware of some sort of truth. They were unable to follow their intuition. They were unable to listen to any sort of divine guidance. Somebody may have taken advantage of another person. They had hidden agendas. But the Page of Cups is wanting romance. Somebody is, is they, may, they may be uh, Four of Swords. This is, the, this is the death. This is the end. It's the end of a past relationship. It is. I mean, it is. There's a lot of memories on the table here. Somebody is reminiscing. Somebody is reminiscing about a past uh, situation that has died. Thinking about it. This page of cups. Yeah, it's it's like this. It's like it's too late. It's too late. It's too late to go back. You can't go back. It's like this contract is over. It just wasn't meant to be. This is the end of a contract, a soulmate contract. Now we have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. And there's a lot of people when they hear soulmate, they automatically think it's a, it's a lover. Okay? It doesn't have to be a soulmate. And this is a union, okay? This could be any kind of union. This could be between parents and children. This could be uh, I did, well, parents and children. I keep feeling like it is. I think this is in between. Is parents and children could be, could be lovers. This is. It's like it's the end of a soulmate contract. Somebody and it is a soulmate contract. Okay, but soulmates. We have many soulmates in a lifetime. A best friend can be a soulmate. Somebody that you uh, have a lot of memories with. Okay, this is, it is, it's the end of a contract with somebody that you have a lot of memories with. The Six of Cups is memories. This is the end of a contract. And these are both soulmate cards. So we have the end of a soulmate contract. That's what we have here. But the Page of Cups, this is, there's a new opportunity for love here. There is. This is like Cupid bringing somebody a new opportunity for love. But the Lover's card is also a choice. 
and somebody can continue, that you can continue to keep clinging to the memories and the pain and the hurt and the discontent, or you can choose another uh, option, okay, because the lovers is a card of choice. So we have somebody here that I think has been choosing to concentrate on a past relationship or a past soulmate connection. Remember what I said soulmates was. But there is an opportunity here with the Page of Cups. There's an op opportunity for some sort of from of love. Now, I don't know who this is with yet. We're going to find out. But this is unaware, the High Priestess. We have some reversed. Somebody is unaware that there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. The fool. There's an op there is. Somebody is absolutely unaware that there's an opportunity for a new beginning. Now, this new beginning could be with somebody else. Somebody is absolutely clinging to the memories. Ooh, the sun card. Now, this is a card of happiness. It's a card of rebirth and renewal. There's a card of healing. So, this would be healing love. There's a healing love here. So, there's a big, bright opportunity that somebody hasn't been aware of. There's a reason why things don't work out. There's a reason why things end. Okay, there is. The Emperor. So we have, this is uh, taking control. This is somebody that uh, is very orderly. This is a leader. This is a boss. This could be a father. This could, this is a very masculine energy. This guy um, has a plan and it looks like he he's making moves so we have some a masculine here that is is doing something it looks like he's he's making moves this is a very powerful individual here highly highly respected has a lot of life experience he's been given the title of emperor because of his knowledge and his experience so anyway we have a very experienced masculine here who sees a big bright opportunity he does he sees it he sees the he sees the light okay he does and he is about to make some sort of move okay with the chariot card this is moving it's like he's he's about ready to take some serious action. This is f replacing fear with faith. You know, I think that this person was unaware that that they had an oppor a big bright opportunity and and it's like now it's now they're getting in the driver's seat. We have somebody here that is basically this is taking control. And this is taking control. Is ready to take control of a situation. This guy is is going someplace. He's going someplace, and he is being cheered on. It's like he, people, they've been waiting. Somebody has been waiting for him. They've been waiting for him to uh, suit up and get this show on the road. So this guy is, he's a warrior. He is a warrior, and he is about to uh, go someplace. He is. This is traveling. He's about to travel somewhere. And I think this is a quick decision. It is. It is. It's a very quick decision. And it feels like there's not any fear. It's like he doesn't have any fear anymore. The fear is gone. Okay? The fear is gone. He may have uh, acted foolishly in the past, which taught him a lesson because the emperor is very wise. So I feel like we have somebody that acted foolishly in the past. He's learned some sort of lesson. And now he has no fear. It's like he's fearless. He is. He's fearless. Four of Cups. It's like, but is it, you know, it's like, is he this Four of Cups? It's like, is it too late? Whoever he is headed towards uh, doesn't appear to... Somebody doesn't, isn't interested. Okay, somebody isn't interested. So somebody is headed towards somebody. Four of Cups. Really sad. This, this is sad. This is discontent. Hoping. We have somebody that is hoping that they will be accepted. 
They don't have any fear. He's, he's, he's really replacing fear with faith. He's going to make some sort of offer. He's going to follow his heart. His heart is leading the way. So we do have a masculine here that is about to uh, seriously take control of a situation and he is hoping that he will be accepted. He's, he's, he is. Whoever is waiting, this person has been waiting. This person has been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and, and isn't making any moves. It's like this person isn't making any moves at all. This person is just like, uh, listening. I'll listen. I'll listen to what you have to say. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, could be dealing with a Gemini. Feels as though this person is fearless and they are about to come forward with an emotional, um, heartfelt uh explanation of some sort you know they're ready to it's almost like they're ready to do whatever it takes I'm, they're ready to fight and they've been they've been told it's like they have been told they haven't been listening for a long time but it's like they've been told you got it's time to go it is time to go the star this is an opportunity for a wish fulfillment Now this is an ending. This is the death of this is the death of something. It is. You guys can try to change it up. I go but I'm an intuitive reader, but that is the death of something. So it's the death of an idea. It's the death of an old way. It's the death of something. Okay, it's the death of a contract that leads to a blessing. This this ending is a blessing in disguise. The star is a blessing. This contract ending is going to bring somebody, this is a gift. This is also a card of healing. And this is too, this is, this is, this is healing. I think that there's a new, in, in, in death, and we've talked about this before, there is a new beginning, right? There's a, there's a new, uh, wish being granted this is like a reward now this is this is this is peace of mind as well peaceful healing there's an offer of real raw emotion coming in from somebody there is I feel like we have a masculine that sees a big, bright opportunity and they are going to go for it in hope that they will be accepted. They have no fear. This is a very fearless individual. Now, this is the star is a card of, you know, this is a card of heaven. It is. So somebody may have been guided from above. That it's time to heal. It, this is healing. The Three of Swords reversed is healing. This is healing. This is healing. To let go of the past hurts. Forgive. This is a card of forgiveness. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. They may be asking for forgiveness. could be a father because it could be anybody it could be anybody it could be it could be a father it could be a husband but it is a, i think it's a masculine it's a masculine energy that is at hoping hoping for the best seriously we this is hoping and this is hoping we got somebody here that is hoping for forgiveness they're going to they're going to they're ready to go and they're going to do it and they're going to they're going to take action and they're going to hope for they're going to Ask for forgiveness, so be prepared. Somebody's going to ask for forgiveness.
they may have went through some sort of internal transformation. It's like, and you don't see this coming with the high priestess reverse. It's like, you don't even see it. You don't see it coming. You don't see it coming. This person just decides. I know that's what this is. Takes it, This is impulsive. Just decides. They, they, they had fear, but the fear is gone. The fear is gone. It's like, I'm ready to go and I'm going. So somebody is about to go after something. A big, bright opportunity. They're ready to just leave all these past hurts behind. The past false contract, whatever it was. There was a false contract here. There was. And now they've, it's like now they see the light. It's like now they see the light about where wish fulfillment is. And they're just ready to heal. A lot of healing here. So I feel like today is a day of reminiscing. Somebody has been reminiscing. They're still going to be reminiscing. I think that there is somebody that has maybe even fallen ill. This person may have fallen ill because of their, you know, there's consequences, universal consequences for uh, dirty deeds per se. And this is a card of consequences. So I, you know, I feel as though somebody has suffered some sort of consequences for their foolishness. And now it's like they wake up. This is seriously like seeing the light. So this is somebody seeing the light, taking action, getting in the driver's seat, finding the mental strength and replacing fear with faith, uh, deciding to come forth with some sort of apology. Even it could be an apology or, you know, wherever, wherever they're going. They're hoping for the best. They're hoping they will be accepted. This could even be something brand new. It could. Three of spears reversed. Three of, three of uh, wands reversed. You don't expect it. You don't expect it. This person, um, you're not going to be prepared for this. You don't even see, you really don't see it coming. Somebody has probably engaged themselves in a, could have been a third party situation and they didn't realize, they didn't realize something. And a third party situation doesn't have to be lovers. It could be mother, father, child, you know, stepmother, stepfather, you know, that kind of third party situation can go multiple ways. It could be friends. It could be Friends, lover, lover, you know, somebody engaged themselves. They let somebody else get in the way of a, of, uh, a union. Okay. They did. And they had, now their expectations have been dashed. It's like, there's no more desire. You know, there's no, it's, there's been a lot of pain involved. And it's like, now it's like, they don't even want to go down that path anymore. I don't know who this reading is for. Somebody wasted some time and they weren't seeing the opportunities. But I think now they do. This card just fell out. It fell out sideways. The four of coins. Um, this is somebody that is very stubborn. This is somebody that uh, the challenge was opening up. Okay. This, this is very stubborn. Very uh, greedy and selfish. But in reverse, it's opening up. It's, it's time to relax. It's time to let go of fear. So the challenge was to open up and stop resisting and stop being so stubborn and stop letting fear get in the way. I think somebody um, is about ready to open up, put it that way. They're about ready to uh, give to a situation and let go of their stubbornness. It's like there, somebody is seriously about ready to face their fears. This was sideways. So I'm going to leave it sideways. It's a challenge. Somebody has been facing the challenge of, of letting go. And they may have been holding on to something just for the money, the stability. You know, it's hard to let go of, of, uh, materialistic things and follow your heart. 
So I feel like we have somebody here that is has made a decision. I feel like this 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 guy's mind is made up. He's going to face his fears and he's going to move fast. It's going to happen fast. Once he decides to take action, there ain't no stopping him. He's he's going. And he's going to hope he's hoping for forgiveness. He's wasted a lot of time. He's had his expectations dashed by another person. Um and I feel like there, he is going to uh, seriously accept the challenge of perhaps getting rejected. Good luck.